Hi there. I'm working on a project right now, a vase, and it's deep. I need to sand the bottom of it, and it's too small for my hand to go in there safely. So I've got this little sanding disc that I got from Vince's Wooden Wonders at the Portland Symposium. Problem is, it's not deep enough, and I didn't have an extension for it. So I decided to make one. Now I know what you're thinking. Why didn't I just go to the hardware store or tool store and buy one? You can get them for about $10. Well, it's because I like doing things like this. So I did it. Now I used a piece of half inch threaded rod because I had it on hand. And if I ever need to use this in a hand drill and support it, I turned this wooden sleeve so that I can comfortably do that. I drilled and tapped it for a couple of set screws. I can tighten those up. I can put this into the Jacob's chuck on my lathe and I'm ready to go to work with it. So, if you're the kind who likes to just make things instead of going out and buy them all the time, stick around, I'll show you how I did this. It's not difficult, just need a few tools and a little patience. Hope you'll stick around. I started with a 3 32nd inch bit. Then I went up in increments until I got to the quarter inch bit that I need for the shaft of the sanding unit. I don't have any actual cutting fluid, so I used WD-40 as a lubricant. And the shaft fits just fine. Now what I want to do is use the grinder to put a flat side on here so I can drill and tap it. I know someone out there is going to think you should be wearing gloves, but the reason I'm not wearing gloves is so that I can tell if this is getting too warm and I can dunk it in this bucket of cold water. I don't want to overheat the metal. And that should be a wide enough flat spot. Now I will just drill and tap it. I drilled the hole with a 3 16 inch bit and I had to drill straight through the entire rod so that the length of the tap would go through. The set screws worked just fine, although I did have to make a trip to Red Deer Bolt to pick up some shorter set screws. Oh yeah, that's going to work just great. Because this extension is made with a threaded rod, I wanted to make a wooden sleeve so that supporting it with my hand would be comfortable. I'm drilling a hole with a one half inch brad point bit. The drill bit I used went in four and three quarters of an inch. I've made a mark at that spot, that's where I'm going to be cutting it off. Now I'm going to just use my skew chisel and round this over, make it a lot smaller. I'm going to use a planing cut with my skew chisel. Is this a good idea? Mm. 
maybe not. Got a little too aggressive there. Luckily, there's enough thickness there that I can come back in with my spindle roughing gouge and finish this off. All right, now that this is ready to go, I can get back to working on that vase I've been turning a bit on. Hope it's inspired you a little bit to maybe do some do-it-yourself tool making. I enjoy doing that kind of thing. It's just a challenge, and I like a challenge. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you'll come back next time. In the meantime, have a great day in your shop. Be safe. Don't forget to subscribe, and take care of yourself. Bye-bye now.